Hi guys, today I want to show you something entirely new you can do with the observer block. Since 16w44a, the observer block no longer detects block updates, but block state changes. So a conventional bot couldn't detect an opening fence gate, but the observer can now. In docm snapshot video, we showed a lot of stuff that could be detected now, which couldn't be detected previously with the block update detector. Uh, what we haven't shown there is that you can now detect mushroom spreading. Previously, you couldn't detect this with the normal bot, but the observer detects the changing block state. So let's turn up the random tick speed, so the mushrooms would spread a lot faster. And you already saw it, the spring mushroom gets detected, right, the redstone lamp would turn on, but the block of the detector yeah, doesn't detect it. So let's see it once more. Yeah, as you can see, doesn't detect it, and takes a while. So pretty much every mushroom farm we had uh, until 1.10 looks like this. So we had some cedar mushrooms in the middle and then blocks on the side where the mushrooms could spread to. And then every once in a while, activated by a clock, we would flush the mushrooms that spread to the side um, with water. But this isn't really efficient since water causes a lot of lag. Um, it always checks the blocks around it, where it can flow to and so on. So it wasn't uh, lag efficient at all. And that's why I came up with this farm here. It's not cheaper than the water farm, but it's a lot more lag friendly. So it works like this. So we have the cedar mushrooms in the middle here, and they would spread to the side again because it's really an efficient uh, yeah, setup for mushroom spreading. And then we have the observers that would detect the mushrooms. And then the piston here grabs the block where the mushroom would spread to and quickly removes it and puts it back into position. So like this. Yeah, and it works like this, the mushroom that spreads is detected by the observer, then you have the two game ticks of delay. This activates the piston for two game ticks, and once the pot sole here is removed again, then the observer uh, detects the change again and sec sends a second pulse, and that causes the yeah, piston to send the block back. And yeah, of course we use pot sole because um, Mushrooms can spread on pot soil regardless of the light level. If you would um, keep this underground and the light level is quite low, then you could also use normal blocks. But if you want to build it above ground, then I would recommend pot soil or mycelium. And let's see it working. So it's now a hundred times faster. Then you can see the mushroom spreading. And yeah, most of the mushrooms stay inside of, of those trenches here, then they're just collected by a hopper minecart that runs below. And here's just the standard minecart unloading system. Also the advantage of this system is that it can't break. Um, because if you would try something like this, for example, um, so if a mushroom spreads here, then it would get pushed to the side, which would have the advantage that you don't need a minecart, it could just uh, fall in the water stream. But this Kind of similar to the melon or pumpkin farms. If the mushroom grows in the wrong tick, then the farm would get stuck. So let's speed up the random tick speed by a hundred thousand. And then it doesn't take long. If the mushroom grows in the wrong tick, the farm would get stuck. And this can't happen with this farm here. So let's do the normal speed again. And as you can see here, there, there isn't any mushroom here. So the farm can't get stuck. And the reason is that um, the pot soil is removed. So, so the place where the mushroom can spread to is, is gone. And once it's back, then uh, the detector can already yeah, work again. The reason why I'm alternating between red and brown mushrooms is because of the spread algorithm. So mushrooms check in a nine by three by nine area around them uh, for other mushrooms. And if it finds more than five mushrooms um, with him, then uh, it doesn't spread. But since there are only four mushrooms, uh, the mushroom can spread. So if you take this mushroom, for example, then it will check uh, four blocks to the side. So one, two, three, four. And of course, also in that direction and four blocks to that side. And there are no more than uh, four mushrooms in total. So if you want to have a farm, if only brown mushroom farm, for example, then you would need to leave out um, that space. You can't have any brown mushrooms here because then otherwise nothing would grow. The 
farm could easily be stacked, so here I can already have the next uh, blocks for the rails, then just need to put some pot salt above, then add the mushroom, then here I need oops, the observer, and here we have the sticky piston, and also on this side. So as you can see here, it's yeah, one way tileable. And you could also have the next piston on the back of this piston and so on. So the good news, this farm is a lot more lag efficient now, but bad news is still quite slow. Mushrooms spread really slowly and for a farm of this size you can get about 16 mushrooms per hour, but this was the same for the water farms, so mushroom spreading is really slow. Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.